I'm still a PUP and until I am excommunicated, I will continue to be a PUP. I think even the deputy party leader and the party leader would agree that I am a PUP. So let's get that out of the way. You know, this is not about PUP. It's not about UDP. It's about Belize. And let me just remind everybody, it is the People's United Party that started this journey, that knew that we were going to go to the ICJ. In fact, I was the foreign minister when Miguel, Jose Miguel Insulza recommended that we should go to the ICJ. The government thereafter changed and Senator Courtney was present when the special agreement was signed. So this is only coincidental that you find yourself on the opposite corner of your no, PUP colleague? It's not a matter of coincidence, it's a matter of my nation, my country, what is important. I heard the deputy party leader of the PUP talking at length about what we could lose or not lose. But what nobody ever tells you is what is the cost of not going to the ICJ. And there are several people who hold differing views. In fact, everybody holds a different view. There's the people who tell you, hell no, we won't go to the ICJ. And okay, we you say. And then there's the people who tell you we're not ready yet. And there is, at least the PUP is divided down the middle on that. Some tell you point blank, they're not going. And some tell you, yeah, we're probably going, but not right now. And I would insist that the party leader of the People's United Party, the leader of the opposition, already said that his personal view is that we should go. It's just that he is now being bound by a party decision to urge people to say no.